In this session, we're talking detox principles to help put the zest and the zing back in your life. Hey, it's Corey Sievers here from the Savvy Team, and thanks for joining us here for this particular session where we're talking detox principles to put the zest and the zing back in your life. If you know somebody who needs a bit more get up and go or is struggling with them, trouble losing weight or foggy thinking or all these sorts of things, these can all be symptoms of a toxic system. And we're going to be talking about the seven detox pathways and some of the common symptoms that people don't understand relate to to um, to detoxification and a toxic body. So stick around and we'll cover all of that. And if you know somebody, again, share this um, with somebody who needs to or who might benefit from improving their health. You know who they are and, and look, Stick around to the end, we'll be covering a lot of information. So anytime we're dealing with things related to health and well-being, please take note of that. Have you experienced, or oh, perhaps somebody that you know, any of these common problems? Some body odor, allergies and frequent illness, trouble losing weight, moodiness, headaches, looking and feeling older than you really are chronologically, being a bit grumpy or perhaps forgetful and dozy, well, I have to tell you something. All of those and these here are linked to body toxicity. So, you know, toxins can wreak havoc in our body and they can cause rashes and skin problems, sleep disturbances and insomnia, digestive disturbances all the way from bloating, gas, diarrhea, constipation and indigestion, and just generally abdominal discomfort, liver and gallbladder problems, IBS and bowel discomfort, even inflammatory conditions in the body and joint pain, sinusitis, brain fog, poor memory, confusion, clumsiness, even blurry vision and eye pain, fatigue and lethargy, perhaps your you know anxiety, irritability and nerves and even hormonal changes. These are all linked to body toxicity, you know, the, the toxins in your body building up over time and your body not being able to effectively neutralize and eliminate them. So, you know, toxicity isn't just about the emissions that that um, you pass, for example. So funny cartoon here for Pete's sake, Robert, it's about time you saw a mechanic about these emissions of yours. You know, we think of toxicity and everything being you know, if our bowel isn't working, that can certainly be a source of toxicity. But there's a lot more than that. And we'll be going through the seven detoxification pathways and why you want to know about them so that you can, you know, really pay attention and optimize them. So, so obviously emissions can be one of those detox pathways, but there's a lot more than that. And all of these symptoms, you know, they might all be signs of body toxicity, but but symptoms are not enemies to be destroyed. They're sacred messengers who encourage us to take better care of ourselves. And that's what we're really here to discuss. So here's a, a testimonial from a community member on talking with my Savvy Team Wellness Guide. We decided I needed to take some time on the detox program before focusing on shedding my weight. Corey advised me to aim to follow the Eat Savvy diet and tr not to try to lose weight, but to practice eating better by aiming for the green in the Eat Savvy approach. I've lost 20 kilos just practicing alongside the detox. I can now see that I put weight on when I'm not savvy. My health has improved, my joints have become more free moving, and I'm sleeping better too. I'm going for another 15 kilo loss so I can go surfing again with my son. You'll notice that we often um, have the detox program alongside many other programs and because it's actually can be quite a good preemptive strike before doing another program. So you'll often see a lot of people saying that they were following the Eat Savvy Diet, which is a free download that you can access. So just visit um, our, our site, savvy-team.com or savvy-team.com and you can go and download the report from there. Otherwise, just reach out to us or your wellness guide. But but the Eat Savvy and the Detox can often be used as a bit of a preemptive strike for some other program, whether it be weight loss or whether it be, you know, a, a mental focus program, an energy boosting program, a, a general a general wellness program. So, you know, because of the fact that it impacts so many different areas of the body, it's often something that you'll see, you know, that people use for different different issues. But weight loss is just one of those interestingly 
positive side effects we could say. So let's continue on here, but that was a great, uh, a great example there about doing detox and eating savvy at the same time. So let's go and look at how a detox can change the way you look and feel. So, you know, a bit of a bit of meme fun here. Hey girl, you look so beautiful since that savvy detox. Uh, doing a detox can dramatically change your skin texture, your appearance, the glow of your eyes, the the you know the way your skin looks, and and people. Many of our community members have said that that they had people notice when they follow our, followed our detox protocol that people started to comment on how well they looked. Perhaps you've just lost your mojo and you need to do a detox to help it get help you get it back. Pretty groovy, pretty groovy. You can get if you can get your mojo back by doing a bit of a detox. So, how, how can we become toxic? You know, surely our body's meant to deal with this. Well, yes, our body is naturally meant to deal with toxins, but you know, we've had an escalation of chemicals into the environment in the last just fifty years. So, really, we're becoming toxic because of a couple of different reasons, and one is. And you know, increase in the exotoxins. They're those toxins out in the environment and through our, you know, that we're coming in contact with every day. And then endotoxins. These are sort of internally created toxins. So, exotoxins are toxins that are directly administered to the body. So, you know, they're absorbed through the skin, the mucous membranes. They're inhaled through your lungs, or they're ingested because of your diet. Exposure can be from personal care products household cleaning products, cosmetics and skincare, etc., but even medication, processed foods, water, drink, and environmental pollution. Whereas endotoxins are also a major source of toxicity for many people, but they're byproducts of your whole process, your, your internal combustion, shall we say, and your digestive processes. So, so for example, a poor diet, lots of sugar, fat, preservatives, additives, or whatever, can create a malfunctioning digestive system, for example, gut dysbiosis, leaky gut, constipation. And then that can cause, uh, you know, like a the entry of the, this variety of toxins into your bloodstream, into your lymphatic system. So the very fact that, you know, the diet has led to a damage in your gut microbiome and the health of your gut, for example, can then lead your gut to be actually a source of toxicity in and of itself. And so, you know, if you've experienced a blocked drain of some sort, that's sort of an example of the the detox pathway not functioning correctly and things get worse. You know, they're supposed to, the toxins are supposed to be carried away, but they're not, and so things get worse. So there are two fundamental or underlying causes of poor health, and we believe that that's excessive toxicity and a lack of nutrition. If we boil it down to this, then these are the two root causes of our illness. We're not getting the micronutrients we need or the toxins are building up in our system. So obviously what we need is we need to increase the nutrition that we're getting from all sources, food and supplements, and we need to decrease the toxicity, whether it be exotoxic toxicity or endotoxic toxicity. So, you know, the toxins that are absorbed from around about us or the ones that we're creating by having our body systems not functioning properly. So that's pretty much what we're going to do. Pretty simple. We like to say that really taking care of things is as easy as one, two, three. Decreasing the toxin exposure, altering your diet and aiming for safer products that you use in your home. Increasing nutrition, aiming for the 90 nutrients that your body needs to function optimally. And then to optimize the body's detoxification pathways and the body systems. Okay, so a lot of research nowadays about the mitochondria and the microbiome. While they're not detoxification pathways, they're certainly damaged by poorly functioning detoxification pathways. So, so you know, many health problems nowadays are, have been linked to mitochondrial dysfunction and uh, um, uh, basically a dysbiosis in the microbiome, the whole colony of your gut bacteria. And so what leads to these issues? Well, certainly a lack of nutrition and too much toxicity, certainly been proven to damage the mitochondria and the microbiome. So we still need to focus on this easy as one, two, three. So 
First of all, we encourage you to change brands and live clean. Really look at cleaning up what you're exposed to. And so we can help in the savvy team. We can point you towards um, safer alternatives. When Shelly changed to safer alternatives, she got rid of dermatitis, flaky scalp and thinning hair. So all of the external signs of irritation of her skin disappeared when she started to you know, shop safer really. And for Alan, dandruff and rosacea disappeared because he was looking after uh, turning off the toxic tap externally, we could say. But then we need to, we need to um, increase nutrition and optimize the body's detox pathway, step two and three. And so when Gwen did that, she got rid of IBS, insomnia and heart palpitations, as well as back pain. And certainly Julia was able to have more energy, clearer thinking, reduced cravings and even weight loss. Easy as one, two, three. So it really can be, just like those people, those members of the community, it can be as easy as one, two, three for you to reach a higher level of wellness. We have a whole holistic focus about wellness, but really it's dealing with those underlying basics. And we have a whole free online class about this. So that's beyond the scope of this particular detox um, talk here. But, you know, is there something that you'd like to improve about your health? might be helped by doing a detox. But otherwise, let us know because we can guide you there. You've also got the guidance and support of an entire community. People have gone before you and can be there to help you and cheer you on. So detox, you know, what's detox all about? What what principles can help? What are these pathways that you're talking about, Corey? Well, before I jump on into that, another success story from the community here. I've been using the detox program in conjunction with my personal training business, and it's a great tool for personal trainers to help their clients with stubborn areas of body fat. Gets the organs cleaned out and functioning optimally for lifelong fat loss, no gimmicks. So I mentioned before about the mitochondria, and you know, when your cells face this crisis, your little mitochondria, the malfunctioning mitochondria can be at the root, it could be the root cause of many disorders. I'm not going to go into this in depth, but you know, if there was a, imagine if there was a way to tune up your metabolism, increase your energy, think more clearly, feel less achy. Imagine if you could prevent disease, heart disease, Parkinson's disease, and all of these sorts of things. Well, there's been a lot of awareness about the foundational importance of optimal mitochondrial function. And so you can give yourself a bit of a metabolic makeover, and one of the key things about a metabolic makeover is being able to decrease exposure to toxicity and increasing micronutrients. So we cover this in a lot more depth inside our detoxification course. But in essence, to feel the force, detox you must. <laughs> and, and you know, the, the force, this the mitochondria are like the energy powerhouses of your cells. So when they're depleted, you're going to feel depleted. So really, truly, we could say that to feel the force, to feel the vibrant health, we need to spark up the mitochondria. To spark up the mitochondria, we need to eliminate the toxins and the, the, you know, the chemicals and whatever that are interrupting their proper function. And we need to supply the nutrition to help as well. So to feel the force, detox you must. So do detoxes really work? You know, sometimes people, you know, would will say or ask their doctor or whatever, I'm doing a detox and the doctor says detoxes don't work. The liver naturally does a detox and all that sort of thing. Well, you know, sometimes I think it's it's misunderstanding what we're talking about related to detox. And so certainly Quitting smoking is a detox. Losing weight is a detox. Drinking more water, it's a detox. Eating more fiber is a detox. So, you know, sometimes thing, these comments about detoxes don't work can be taken outside of, you know, like taken out of context as such. So we're into optimizing the body's detoxification pathway so they naturally function. Now, although sometimes the, the easy three-day detox type of things can work when done routinely, that's not what we're really talking about here, okay? And a lot of those things can be more marketing fads than actual result-producing um, detoxification protocols. So, you know, that being said, uh, doing a bit of a detox every month can sort of kick-start things along, 
but we're talking here about really helping to optimize the function of the underlying systems of the body, your detox pathways. Do detoxes work? Well, let's look at the concept of blocked detox pathways. One of the major detox pathways in the body is the bowel. So Willie Lane um, believed that civilization's greatest curse could be conquered. And, and this was constipation believed in, in early, the early days in England. And you know, he was one of the early surgeons who dreamed of the ability to, you know, to cut out the colon and eliminate people's health problems. So he started to notice, so Sir Willie Lane uh, noticed that, that people who had certain parts of their colon diseased also had corresponding health conditions elsewhere. And so he, he noticed if a piece of the colon was removed that was diseased, diseased by reflex action, the person's health problems seemed to disappear too. So he actually, in early days, dreamt of the time when people could be healed of their health problems simply by removing their whole colon. Well, you know, by the time he died, he realized that it was he was incorrect in that assumption. And certainly, mind you, to this day, um, diseased colons are still removed without any attempt at cleaning them up. And so on the right hand side, the gross pictures that you see there are actually the product of Dr. Bernard Jensen's intensive tissue cleansing regime. So. I put this here, we're not going into depth and the sort of detox that you'll do with what we're doing in the Savvy Team. This isn't intense. It's not like these live-in, Jensen did 14-day live-in intensive fasting and, um, you know, colonics and everything to get all of this crud out of you. But people would walk away, to, you know, two weeks later with all of their, you know, all of their skin problems disappeared, their long-term health problems gone because they'd healed their colon but it was intensive. But I, I put these pictures here really because of really to debunk this whole myth that people, uh, that many people jump on that detoxes are a fad and detoxes don't work. If you can remove this sort of um, mucoidal plaque, this, this, um, this toxicity, the, the, the impacted fecal matter in your colon, then that's a detox. That that's going to help your colon to function better and you're going to feel better when that's out. So do detoxes work? Absolutely. Can your detoxification pathways get blocked? Absolutely. So the bowel is a major detox pathway and we need to support its function. And we can do that with our detox protocol and our Eat Savvy Diet. Detox does work. The skin is another major detox organ of the body. Now, this is the concept of using saunas for detox. Now, saunas and certain protocols can be used as a heavy metal detox. And so they noticed with the 9-11 firefighters, for example, that they were experiencing certain Parkinson's-like tremors. And, uh, and so they put them through intensive detox protocols and saw actually heavy metals like manganese, which are linked to Parkinson's-like tremors, coming out of their skin, noticeable by the purpley blue staining on the towel. So can you optimize the detox pathways? Do detoxes work? Absolutely. Anyone who tells you otherwise does not truly understand the functions of the body, the internal natural functions of the body. So we're not discussing intensive detoxes like colon cleansing and insauna detox. I'm sharing that really because I want you to realize that the detox pathway concept is factual. But we're going to take things a little bit more gentle than that. If you do have significant health challenges, then we can point you in the direction of, of information that can help you with more of that uh, intensive detox though. So here's another success story from the community. Hi, I'm feeling really well and excited. I'm down seven kilos in a month. So I've started on my second Savvy Detox month and looking forward to losing another six kilos. Detox and eat Savvy and by the end of the second month, I was down from a size 12 to a size six and my shape has continued to tighten up since. Even though I've only lost eight kilos, I've stabilized my weight and totally reshaped my body. Not bad and you'll notice that this lady's skin is even looking clearer. So what are these seven detox pathways and why do they matter? Why should you care? So 
I love this particular image of this of the slippery slides because it sort of can give you a visual of your detox pathways. They should function. They shouldn't be blocked. You know, the, the, they should be flowing. Water should be flowing down there so that you can slip really easily. And so if we look from left to right in the image here, our detox pathways can follow the slippery slides here. Our skin and our bowel are our two major detoxification pathways as such. But then we have the liver, which is what most doctors would think of as the detox organ. So because it in and of itself has two detoxification pathways. Then we have the kidneys, we have the lungs, we have the lymphatic system and circulatory system which work together. So that sort of matches up really well. The skin and the bowel, the two big slippery slides, and then we have the other five pathways. So there's five organs and two associated pathways. But just imagine that one on the right, those two on the right, we've got the, the lymphatic system and the circulatory system and blood. So let's look at why they matter. So the skin is sometimes called the third kidney and a lot of toxins actually come out through perspiration. That's why it can get a bit stinky. So a lot of toxins can also be absorbed through the skin, you know, from home products, cleaning products, bathroom products, cosmetics, for example. Skin is your largest organ and so definitely the largest channel of elimination. So you have to be careful about the chemicals you put on your skin. So that's why in the Savvy Team, we're very big on changing to safer alternatives, and we can point you in the direction of the best products to use, what we personally use and recommend. See, there's no invisible barrier that protects you from what you put on your skin. So your skin has the capacity to absorb what you're putting on it, as well as release toxins by sweating. So some of the things that can really help, dry skin brushing is a great way to help the skin as a detox pathway. It can remove the dead skin cells. It can stimulate the lymphatic system and circulation as well to help remove toxins from the tissues. It, sweat carries out toxins, but when that happens, you also need to replace lost minerals. So trace mineral supplements are, and, and good salt is also important, especially if you're doing exercise and sauna for detoxification. So also skin conditions can be an example of the other detoxification channels of the body being overloaded. So when the other ones, like when you're constipated and your liver's not functioning properly, you end up with skin problems because the skin's being overworked as a detox pathway. So exercise, sauna, dry skin brushing and avoiding harmful chemicals are all helpful tips. Then we're looking to optimize the, the bowel and the colon. Okay, so regularity in, in, in movements. <laughs> the, the, the bowel is in the colon vital detoxification and processing pathway in the body. So, so the principle of auto intoxication means that, you know, really you can, or the, where you get the endotoxins that we talked about before, is where you can be absorbing a whole bunch of you know, chemicals really because of a poorly functioning colon. So, this last part of the digestive system, it helps to extract water and salt from solid waste before elimination. It's also home to a diversity of bacteria that's been little understood until recently, and that's where the term microbiome has come about. But a healthy colon removes toxic residue out of the body, and an, an, an unhealthy one actually produces its own homegrown toxins. And so that's why people such as Dr. Bernard Jensen can say death begins in the colon. And he said all sick people have bowel trouble. So there is not one person that he, uh, that he studied in his 30 years of practice that didn't have some form of bowel mismanagement. So, you know, whether it be indigestion, reflux, um, intolerance to fatty food, intolerance to alcohol, constipation, bloating, irritable bowel syndrome, pain over the liver, for example, this, this can all be because of a toxic colon. So what do we need to do? What are some tips? Improving the fiber content, lots of vegetables, lots of leafy greens, eating savvy, following an eat savvy diet, drinking more water can make a huge difference. Getting some green superfoods, spirulina, chlorella, um, blue-green algae, those sorts of things, very powerful. In fact, chlorella helps to detoxify heavy metals as well. Prebiotic fibers and, and um, probiotics, 
uh, fermented foods, supplementing with probiotics, supplementing with fiber uh, as well. So it can be really, really beneficial. Particular spore bearing probiotic called Bacillus coagulans that we use in, in some of our fiber products, uh, very powerful for colon health as well. Lots of other strains are very good as you know, good for the colon health as well. We need a diverse microbiome. And the way we get that is by having a lot of natural food. So certainly following the Eat Savvy Diet, which is a free download that you can access uh, for our community members that can help you to move towards a healthier colon and a healthier microbiome. When you have significant problems and a lot of toxicity in the bowel, you can start to do things like colonic irrigation, uh, enemas, uh, things like um, flushes um, can also help with that. And then we have the liver. Now, the liver is an integral part of your body's detoxification system and responsible for modifying toxins so they can be effectively eliminated from the body. And so there's a two-step process here. Phase, you'll hear that called phase one and phase two. And the, the, that's in essence like, you know, uh, if you've ever... If you've got a, a bin under the sink or in your kitchen, imagine you've you know, tied up the bin bag and whatever and you've taken it out and then you just put it at the front door ready for hopefully someone else to take it out to the, the rubbish bin outside. Well, if you can imagine phase one is getting it out of the bin and putting it at the front door and phase two is getting it outside, getting it eliminated. So patch, packaging it up is like phase one and getting it out to the bin outside is phase two. Well, we you need all of the nutrients and micronutrients and, and, and everything for those phases to function. So if, only, if you only got it out from under the sink and it just chucked it at the front door, it's going to get pretty putrid at your front do door very quickly. So you need to be looking to optimize both pathways of the liver. And so a lot of the nutrients that we recommend will do that. But... Um, you know, really the, the liver metabolizes everything from food as well as preservatives to residues of alcohol. And when it functions properly, it's going to remove waste from the blood as well as store nutrients. And so to naturally detoxify the liver, eat plenty of antioxidant-rich foods and drinks, minimize alcohol consumption, stop drinking soft drinks. Suffice it to say, focusing on the Eat Savvy Diet, limiting chemical exposure can make a huge difference. Focusing on the green superfoods and herbs like St. Mary's thistle, dandelion, broccoli, antioxidants, all that really helpful. The liver also greatly benefits from beetroot, grapefruit, garlic, green tea, leafy green vegetables, lemon, lime. We can point you in the direction of a liver gallbladder flush that's a great idea as well. And so there's all sorts of things that can really optimize the function of the liver. And part of our detox protocol you know, where you can do a detox for one to three months as a prep phase for losing weight or any of our other programs, you know, can really help you feel different. So it can really help to stack the odds in your favor as far as reaching that high level of wellness. And sometimes the liver being overloaded is the, is the big issue. We've seen people, for example, um, up these herbs by way of a supplement that we recommend that has things like milk, thistle and dandelion and other antioxidants and up their green superfoods. And suddenly, when they weren't able to lose weight on a weight loss program, the weight starts to drop off them. And, and so really the liver, the detox pathway of the liver was responsible for holding up their results. So if you've had some trouble with losing weight or you know constipation, chemicals building up in you, the liver could be part of that issue. A lot of the times the liver and gallbladder not functioning properly with the manufacture and elimination of bile can cause constipation, can cause improper absorption of nutrients. So, uh, you know, there's a, lot, there's a lot of implications here in having your detox pathways not function well. So we want to get them tuned up and functioning so that you can optimize your well-being. Then we have your kidneys. And your kidneys play a crucial role in the detoxification process and are constantly filtering the blood and producing urine. So dehydration and overly acid forming chemical laden diet, you know, these are key causes of ineffective kidney detoxification. So when you properly hydrate your body, have more of an alkaline diet, you definitely do optimize kidney function. So things like drinking more water, 
following the eat savvy diet, really powerful, simple, free ways for you to start to stack the odds in the favor of optimizing your, your kidney function. Green superfoods, cranberries, Hawaiian noni, these are all great as well. Specifically herbs like celery, garlic, parsley, the herb devil's claw, dandelion. These are all good for supporting kidneys, the kidneys as well, as are other antioxidants. And, you know, chronic kidney disease is considered a silent disease because, you know, there's sort of, I guess, no real warning signs until things get really bad. And so, you know, some of the signs of reduced kidney function that you might want to take note of are things like high blood pressure and frequent urination or changes to the how often you urinate. A frothy or foaming urine, blood in your urine, puffiness in your ankles, um, pain in your kidney area, tiredness, loss of appetite, headaches, itching, shortness of breath. All of these things can be linked, you know, to kidney disease. So, so anything that you can do to optimize your kidney function and not waiting for these warning signs, really, really good. Okay, and so, so a lot of people do notice that that their kidney function. Uh, it can, can be optimized by taking some of these basic herbs. So then we have the lungs. Now, toxins are breathed in and out of the body. And the lung, lungs, while not thought of as a detoxification pathway, certainly do. You know, there's certainly a way for you to get toxins into the body and out of the body. So when you have bad breath and all that, that's an example of toxins. So detox the lungs by getting fresh air in, exercising, opening up the chest, um, certainly smoking is the fast way to get toxins into the body, so not a good idea. And as I mentioned, bad breath is an example of toxin release. So deep breathing exercises, exercise, avoiding smoking and fumes, all important tips to optimize the lung function. There are some herbs that can open the airways, like the cordyceps mushroom uh, can be beneficial. Other herbs like mullen, can, mullen leaf can help with respiratory problems and and open up the airways there. So then we have the lymphatic system and the lymphatic system is a network of tissues and organs that help rid the body of waste, toxins and other unwanted materials. And the primary function of the lymphatic system is to transport lymph, which is a fluid that contains infection fighting white blood cells throughout the body. And, and you know, the interesting thing about the lymphatic system is that, you know, the heart um, helps to move the, the blood around, but the lymphatic system needs your movement. So movement and exercise helps to to pump the lymph, shall we say. And so this is where things like rebounding, um, lymphatic massage can 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 help. You know, although you can lose weight without exercising and our protocols can help you do that, we don't agree with many people out there that will promote you don't need exercise. You know, they they you they use their in their marketing, they can often market no exercise, lose weight, no exercise, sort of as a way of, I guess, appealing to people who don't feel like it or are lazy. And while that's fine in the short term, and definitely we can help you lose weight without exercise, it's not good for your all-round health, at least not to be attempting to get out and walk, because it's the movement that helps not only to move the lymph around, but but actually, science is now showing that it even improves the microbiome diversity and optimizes mitochondrial function. So you want to optimize these systems of the body if you want a long and healthy life. So regular exercise, really, really powerful. But not to the point of chronic cardio. So we're just talking about moving, maybe doing some, you know, starting a bit of a workout program but not jogging, not being on the treadmill for 45 minutes, not taking up marathon running, because that produces, in our opinion, too much cortisol in the body, which then leads to higher stress levels, messed up hormones, and faster aging. So we're just talking about movement and, and maybe even um, a weight training regime. That's for men and women, and more, more sprint type of training, intense exercise, if you progress past walking rather than going for a jog, not really into the jogging in the risk benefit ratio there. So movement, exercise, really powerful. But there are some herbs that can optimize the lymphatic system as well that are often in general well-being formulas and um, and things that, that are good for all round well-being. Astragalus or astragalus is a herb that's very anti-aging and also optimizes the lymphatic system. 
Dandelion, often used for the liver, is also very good for the lymphatic system. Devil's claw, which is a herb used for kidney function, is also brilliant for the lymphatic system. And, you know, other things like green tea, green tea extracts are also helpful to help the lymphatic system release further toxins. Taking enzymes, very good as well. The dry skin brushing we mentioned before, um, really quite helpful. So then we have the blood and the circulatory system. And if you can imagine the, the, that your circulatory system is like a, a network of tubular highways that reach all the different parts of the body. But now you think of a traffic jam. Lots of delays, lots of pollution, high risk of accidents. Well, <laughs> you don't want your circulatory system to be blocked up and toxic. And, the, and we sort of get that with heart disease being one of the leading killers in the Western world. But your circulatory system and your lymphatic system work in tandem. And so the, the antioxidants, high dose vitamin therapy, grape seed extract, horse chestnut extract, all of these things can optimize the circulatory system. And we actually have a, a, an article on the Healthy Wealthy Wise blog that goes through the herbs that are great for hair, skin and nails. And they're also very good for the circulatory system and blood. So you can read up on that. So there you have it. They're the seven detox pathways and why they matter. So here's another comment from the community. I had heard and followed a lot of the success stories on the Savvy Teams detox program, and I knew I needed to get hubby on it. In such a short time, 28 days, Dom has lost nearly seven kilos, increased energy, improved concentration, is more positive, no snoring, and he is happy that he fits into his small clothes again. So pretty exciting stuff. That's all from following our detox program. So look, remember, if you've experienced any of these problems that we talked about before, then you can benefit from doing a detox. And you can do it from any, you know, one month to three months. You can follow these certain tips that we've, that we've um, shared with you here. Drink more water, eat savvy, and just start to stack the odds in your favor. But if you want to actually do a protocol and really optimize the body's pathways, get rid of some of these issues, then reach out to us or your Savvy Team Wellness Guide and let's get you started. See, here are 10 benefits of regular detoxing. So why detox? If you're thinking about trying a detox, but you're unsure exactly what the benefits may be, here are some of the benefits. Sort of the first one's a bit like, duh, you know, <laughs> we need to remove the toxins from the body. But, but long-term exposure to toxins like environmental pollutants, cancer-causing chemicals, preservative pesticides, heavy metals, industrial waste, all of these sorts of things can really impact our metabolism, our behavior, our immune system. It can really lead to disease. So the, the more you can get them out, the better. Okay. So the next is prevent disease. Environmental toxins are responsible for many cancers, neurological diseases, heart disease. And our bodies, as I've just mentioned, you know, do have built-in detox functions to deal with these dangers. But what's happened is we've overloaded these functions. So we need to give them a bit of a break every now and again and optimize the functions by doing a detox. Enhanced immune system function. A compromised immune system makes us vulnerable to colds and flu and all sorts of other infections, really. So the more optimized your detox pathways are, the more you're going to fight off infections. Easier weight management. You can lose weight. A lot of our people, you see a lot of these testimonials have been people that have lost weight. See, toxins affect the body's natural ability to burn fat and leads to weight gain. So detoxing the body rids the body of these toxins that can be stored up in the fat cells and then in, and also can increase your metabolism. So our most effective weight management regimes actually begin with a period that we call the detox or optimizing the detox pathways. And yet many people often lose 10 kilos in that month without dieting per se. So if you'd like to lose some excess fat, then a detox could really be helpful. Slowing premature aging. See, detoxing rids the body of the free radicals that are partially responsible for aging. It can also help increase nutrient absorption, um, antioxidants, vitamins, all those sorts of things that can fight oxidative stress. So really powerful for slowing aging. It can improve your quality of life. So 
I guess, simply put, that if your body doesn't function well because it's loaded with toxins, you don't have the best quality of life that you could be experiencing. So joint pain, headaches, digestive disorders, sleep problems, lack of energy, all warning signs of toxicity. So when you do a detox, you can improve all those things and improve your quality of life. You can increase your energy levels. You can have more mental, physical, and emotional energy after detoxing. Okay, people often tend to need less sleep after detox. You can improve your skin health as well. Diet and environment certainly affects the skin, and the skin's one of our detox pathways, as we've mentioned. So optimizing all of the detox pathways also can improve skin issues. It can improve your mental clarity, foggy, foggy thinking. And, you know, just generally not being clear-headed and fatigued. Mental fatigue can be um, implicated in you know, really a toxic body. And then we have that doing a detox can restore balance to your other body systems. For example, you're improving your hormonal balance and, um, and you're improving the function of everything about your body. Another testimony from the community here. I've lost four kilos in the first week of December on the Savvy Detox. And I got excited because my goal was 10 kilos down by Christmas. By the, December the 23rd, I was down to a 9.8 kilo loss. So I did a couple of days on a tighter diet, sort of like the rapid fat loss protocol and whammo, 10 kilos gone. Plus my weight stabilized despite the Christmas fair, maybe because I stayed on the detox program. But now I'm back on track. Total weight loss is 14 kilos. That's pretty outstanding results for essentially a month. So you might have noticed that there's a, that there's a crossover here. We're talking about detox. We're talking about weight loss. We're talking about Eat Savvy. And the Eat Savvy Diet is a free download that you can access from our website or otherwise reach out to us or ask in the comments and we can, we can um, hook you up. Uh, so you can certainly access that for free. And what that's about is it really just helps you through your diet to decrease chemical exposure, increase nutrition. So it's, it's, it's wise. It's, it's sort of like doing the one, two, three, the, the savvy one, two, three that we mentioned just through your diet. So it forms a central part for many of our programs because it optimizes the results that you're getting. So it's often combined with the detox. So you might have noticed many of the testimonials, people did the detox and the Eat Savvy together and they lost a lot of weight, or they were doing it as a prep phase for other wellness programs. But doing the detox can address the underlying issues in your body, increase your vitality and lose weight, sort of as a byproduct of improving your health, prepare you for best success in your other programs. But, but users doing the detox and Eat Savvy have experienced anywhere from a one kilo to even 20 kilo weight loss in a month. Okay, so you can go longer than that. And of course, you know, you may not be, you may not lose weight. It all depends on why you're holding the weight. So if you don't lose weight, just doing a detox and eat savvy, then we tighten the program up and focus on that. And if you have no reason to lose weight, of course, you can still benefit from a detox. You can have other improvements like clarity of clarity of mind and improved skin, for example by doing a detox and eat savvy. We also have a Mediterranean Spide M3 Plus program. And this is a, this is a program that's, that really is not designed to improve health, although health may occur as a byproduct of your better lifestyle and weight loss. But when you follow our extras along with this program, it certainly amplifies the results. So if you focus on more of an eat savvy and Mediterranean style diet, with some of the products that we recommend to help you access fat stores in that particular program, then you can, you know, you, you can lose weight, but again, it's not detox based. And that's why a lot of people then still add in some of the detoxification based um, principles and get further results. Okay. Our rapid fat loss program is more of a tightly restricted eating plan where we start to get a little bit stricter on measuring things and it's more short-term cycles. And you, you might have, you, you'll hear, I'm going to share with you some testimonials of people that have used the detox in conjunction with our rapid fat loss protocol. So that's why the crossover is there. 
You can certainly do a detox without the need to lose weight. Okay, so you won't automatically lose weight doing a detox. The reason people have lost weight doing a detox is it was one of the barriers that they're experiencing for effective weight management. And so it's one of the fundamentals that we put people uh, on when they're looking to lose fat. And then we also have, as part of this, our savvy body transformation. You can't truly transform your body until you have optimized your body's detox pathways. But, you know, as I've said, it's as easy as one, two, three. We decrease toxin exposure, increase nutrition, and optimize the body's detox pathways and the system. So you can read a heap on detoxification on our blog at savvy-team.com forward slash HWW. You can search for detoxification. You can also download the Eat Savvy Diet from there. So it really helps you to choose foods that are savvier, foods that will stack the odds in your favor as far as living a less toxic lifestyle. So you might be like this fella here that, you know, I think I need the Savvy Detox Plan because I could be unstoppable if I could just get started. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of people have said that, um, that, you know, their energy improved, their mental clarity, they lost weight. They just felt like they had sort of like a themselves, but 2.0, like just an upgraded uh, version of themselves. So think about doing the detox. Think about um, following some of these principles or reach out to us and actually do our detox plan for one to even three months or longer. We like to say that there are four pieces of the puzzle to help you reach a high level of wellness. You need a plan, you need some solutions, you need guidance, and you need community. And we are there to support you along the way with all of these four pieces of the puzzle. So if you have any questions about this material or you want to or you want to take action on these particular tips or do our detox, then reach out to your Savvy Team contact, uh, ask us here, message us, and we'll be glad to um, help you out. So really the next step is request an invitation into our Healthy Wealthy Wise group. So just some other results here. So I was talking talking before about um, about results from the community and and some of the, I think you, you saw this particular story there of, of significant weight loss and shape change with the Eat Savvy, but other people have also lost a lot of weight and significantly improved their health and well-being. Th these are some of the results using the detox in conjunction with what we call our rapid fat loss protocol. So a lot of weight loss there in this very short period of time too. So just one to two months. So you can create a whole new you, reshape your body, regain your health. This particular lady had um, had her doctor, not only she lose weight and feel much better, but her doctor just took her off a lot of the medication because she no longer needed it. You know, an eight-week transformation here, feeling fitter, healthier, no, more energy, no longer breathless, really, you know, significant results can be obtained. And so just looking here before I showed you, um, I shared with you this story before from Dom, but here's his picture. So again, just 28 days doing the detox and um, eat savvy, and you know, you can change your shape considerably. So as I said, if you are if you are new to what we do in the Savvy Team, the first step really would be to request an invitation into our private Facebook group. And then the next step is to fill out a how can we help form. We'd love to know what you're struggling with. And uh, then we can point you in the direction of things that can really help to optimize. It might be detox, it might be something else. But we love this statement that today I choose to be healthy. We really believe that health is a choice following things to, to optimize your body's detox pathways, you know, this can be one of the things that can really help to um, to stack the odds in your favor. So, you know, if if this is if this information is new, do you have any questions about what we've covered there, please reach out to us. Please ask in the questions and we can point you in the direction of more information to help you to detox and be savvy.